Hello everyone, welcome to a new time series and applied econometrics video tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to edit economic graphs for public presentation using Stata. My name is Juan D'Amico, I'm an economist and I submit videos about applied time series analysis and forecasting for economics. So if that is something that you're interested in, please feel free to subscribe to my channel for more content. Now, in today's example, I'm going to show you how to go from this graph into something like this. I'm going to show you how to edit uh, the colors, the lines, how to add a title, subtitle, the axis, and we're going to see a little bit more things like the grid and adding some text, vertical lines, and whatnot. And the last thing that I'm going to show you is how to apply a scheme. A scheme is basically a pre-format in the colors that when you apply that scheme, then Stata is going to produce a graph with the following background. Before we get into Stata, let's discuss what to include in a graph. Now, this is very important anytime you're presenting information, you're presenting a graphic. You need to include the following information. Of course, a title. What are we looking at? Which country? We need to include a subtitle, which normally you're going to add the time range or frequency of the data. We're going to have a y-axis, which is very important. It should inform us which is the unit of measure. Anytime I see a graph, I need to understand what is the unit of measure. We have the x-axis, which should inform us of the unit of time. Is it quarterly data? Is it months? Is it years? Is it days? What am I looking at? A legend, which should tell us what each line, which color or pattern represents. Anytime I see a line in a graph, I need to know what variable I'm looking at. And finally, we're going to be including a note. A note is commonly added at the bottom of the graphic and it should include information as the data source. It's very important always to include from where you are sourcing the data. So now, the last thing that I would include in a note is if you have transformed your data. For example, if you have applied logs, differences, you would need to include that in the notes because again, anyone who is looking at the graph should understand what they are looking at, in which unit of measure, um, what transformation you have applied, any of that information has to be included in the graph. So now that we know all this background, let's go into Stata and start working on this. In Stata here, I already have some variables. I have the Fed rate and I have uh, unemployment for the states. So to produce a single graph, you just type TS line, then the name of the variables, and you're going to get to a very basic or simple graph, which is the following. You are getting um, no title, no subtitles, no y-axis, no x-axis, nothing. So now I'm going to show you step by step what modifications we should include. I'm going to close here. And we're going to start then by typing here TS line again. We're going to add the name of the variables that we want to uh, produce the graph for. And then we're going to add a comma because we are going to start adding information. The first thing I would like to add is a label for the y-axis. We need to add the unit of measure. So I'm going to type y title. We're going to open parentheses. And then in quotation marks, you're going to type percent. Um, it's, I'm going to add the percentage symbol. And then we close there. Now we have the Y axis. Now I'm going to add the X axis. Similarly, instead of using Y title, we're going to use X title. We're going in quotation marks to type quarters. Of course, you would type whatever is the unit of time that you're working with. Next, I would like to modify the size of the label in the Y axis. For that purpose, I'm going to use the command Y label. I'm going to open parentheses, type a comma, and then type lab size, open parentheses, and small. There we go. 
Something I really like to modify in my graphs is the background of the, of the image. I normally like to have it white. By default, you saw that Stata produces a blue background. So I'm going to type graph region, going to open parentheses, type color, open parentheses, and then I type right, white. I would like the graph region to be white. We have to include the title for the title. You just use the command title. You're going to open parentheses in quotation marks. I'm going to type the federal funds rate and unemployment, unemployment rate in USA. And that's going to be the title and it has to be in quotation marks. The subtitle has to include the frequency and uh, the time range of your data. So in my case, it goes from 1955, first quarter, to 2023, third quarter. So I'm going to close now the quotation marks and I close the parentheses. Something we can do is also modify the pattern of the first line. In this case, I'm going to use the command L color. Now I type here green because I would like that line to be green. And the pattern for the pattern is L pattern. And I'm going to type dash. So it's going to the the rate, the Fed rate is going to be green and in dashes. Finally, let's add a caption. So remember in the caption, we're going to add the data source information. And in this case, it is the Federal Reserve Economic Data. And in parentheses, we can type Fred. And that's going to be all. Now let's copy this and let's execute the command. I get here the graph. It contains the title, subtitle, y-axis label, x-axis, the legend, data source. And you can see that the federal fund rate is in green and with the dashes. Now I'm going to teach you how to add vertical lines and to include a title. You may want to add vertical lines if there is a specific period, for example, COVID-19, or if there is 2000, uh, a 2000 crisis of the 2008 crisis or whatever you would like to add as an example, if you ever want to specify um, a specific range, then you can do that. So just for this example, we're going to use the Volcker era. So let's go into the command and I'm going to show you how to add that. Now to add the vertical lines, I'm going to write T line, open parentheses, and the Volcker era would go from 1979, the first quarter, to exactly um, 1987, let me write here, 1987, Q4. And then in this particular case, I would like to have a pattern in this line, and the pattern that I would like would be dashes. So you type L pattern dash, close parentheses, and let's hit enter. Let's copy this first. I'm going to hit and enter. And now you can see that we are getting the vertical lines. This is the Volcker era in the States. So now I would like to add the title in here. Now to add that very specific text, I'm going to use the command T text, open parentheses, then the first thing you need to do is specify how um, the height, all right? How, how high you want the text or how low you want the text. So that's going to be the first, uh, the first parameter. I'm going to write 19. So basically the y-axis goes from zero to whatever. And uh, 19 means it's kind of at the very top. Now, if you want it lower, you would type, for example, 10. If you want it lower, you type 2, and so on. So in this case, we are typing 19. And then you need to say um, specifically where you would like 
in the x-axis to be located the text. So for this particular scenario, I'm going to uh, use 1984 Q2. So remember, 1984 Q2, so our graph goes from 1955 to 2023. So if you say you want 1984 Q2, it's going to be located somewhere here. And then 19 is taking the text 19 steps high. Now I have to write whatever I would like. In this case, Volker era, that's going to be the text and has to be in quotation marks. Next, I have to add a placement. For example, would you like it to be in the left, in the right? In this case, I want it center. Another thing you can modify is the color of the text. The color of the text, I wanted it to be in black. So that's going to be all. This should work. Let's copy just in case. Let's make sure we don't have any mistakes. Hit enter. And that's amazing. You can see that we get Volker era text um, and it's located basically center in 1984. Now I'm going to show you what happens if you change the number 19 and we probably write the number two or three. Let's see, let's go back. I'm going to use here the number three. And now you can see that you get the text in the bottom. So I hope that helps you uh, to clarify a little bit what the number means. It's 19 means you are over here. You see the, the range goes to 20. So if you put 15, it would be here. If you put 10, it's going to be here and so on. Now, the last thing I can show you is how to add a scheme. So to add a scheme, I'm going to do the following. The first thing, we're going to get rid of the background color because if we have the background color in white, we're not going to be getting any um, any scheme. Now we can go here back to the end and I'm going to type scheme, open parenthesis, and there are many different schemes. The one I liked is S2 color eight. If you go into the manual, um, you're going to find all the different schemes or you can Google um, data graphics schemes. There's so many. I have included some in the do file that by the way, you can download the do file for free in my website. Just I, I included the link in the description. You can download the do file to produce this graph. So um, let's now hit an enter. It's producing the graph. Sorry about that. Maybe it already did. No, it didn't. All right, here it appears. So you can see how now the background is not white anymore and it's using the color of the scheme that we have implemented. That's going to be all the video for today. I hope that you find this useful and I hope that now you can start improving the way that your graphs look in Stata. Also, please feel free to leave a comment. What are things would you include in this graph? Um, is there any sort of information that I didn't include? but that you find that is relevant, please put it in the comments. You're going to be helping other people as well. You know, I'm a human. I can forget stuff or make mistakes. So if you guys see um, any piece of information that you value or you consider important to include in a graphic, please feel free to leave it in the comments. Remember, subscribe if you are interested in more information or more content about applied time series analysis and forecasting. And feel free to visit my website where you're going to find all the different um, videos that I have available and all the different material that I have available. Thank you very much for watching. Please take care.